with you guys. Um, this is my first ever YouTube video. Oh my god, wow, what a great impression. Um, it's currently 2 a.m. and um, I'm doing my makeup. Well, anyway, it's gonna be my everyday makeup look. Not really everyday, because usually I just look like this. No makeup, ooh, flawless, just kidding. <laughs> anyway, on to the first step. So, the first thing that I usually do is I do my eyebrows because I'm awful at them. So, if I do them So, if I do them first, then they weren't <laughs> So, if I do them first, then you know, I can correct my mistakes and not mess up my foundation, concealer, and all that good stuff. Either way, it's going to look like trash, but you know, here we go. I'm going to do a time lapse so then you don't have to sit through this 10-minute process. So anyway, what I do is I start from the bottom and make a line down the bottom of my eyebrow. Do the same to the top, but I start in the middle. Slowly start to fill in and start to flick up little um, hair-like follicles <laughs> with makeup on my eyebrow. So yeah, that's how I get my ratchet-ass eyebrows if y'all wanted to know. So yeah. Okay, so now I'm done with my brows and I had to turn off one of my lights because like during the time lapse it just like made my face like really pale and I finally noticed it after one eyebrow. And like, um, yeah. Now I see a lot more flaws now that I finally have the light on. But like, I just, just want the video to be good. <laughs> but you know, yeah. But like, my steps for eyebrows if you want my eyebrows for some reason um i use the anastasia brow dip and the anastasia brow pencil with the little yeah you know what i'm talking about this is like ooh, i forgot what number this was but i don't know the worker suggested it to me so just ask the worker what they suggest or whatever unless you know what you're doing because unrelatable but the next step that i do is usually put on some primer and i'm gonna be using two different primers because that's how I am. So this one is the Baby Skin Maybelline New York Instant Pore Eraser. Oh, it kind of matches my sweater. Oh yeah, if y'all want, this sweater is super cute. It has like fringe at the bottom, but it's like super cute. Like, hold on. Hey, look how cute. Sorry, it was Christmas music. I just could not resist. But anyway, I just put primer basically anywhere on my face. Wow, that's a lot. Didn't mean to. Okay, I guess I'm not using two primers today. <sighs> this is a crap ton of primer. Oh my god. Okay, so putting some wherever I feel like it needs to go. Wow, this really is a lot of primer. But okay. And y'all can't see it because it's clear, but you know, that's great. And I usually just take a flat brush like this and just blend it all out. And yeah, that's usually how it goes. So I'll be back once my primer's blended. Okay, so now that my primer's done, I'm gonna be applying concealer. Why am I applying concealer so quick and first off the bat? Because, um, do you see how pale this is? <laughs> So, yeah, that's all I have to say. It's super pale. So, I put my foundation over it so it does not look so pale. But I basically put it anywhere where it's just dark or acne. So, like that. Anyway, I'm gonna get to blending my concealer and I'll put a time lapse in, so here we go. So, you know, just to pass the time, I'm just gonna, you know, talk and, you know, you see me blending, putting on my eyelids all over her face, cause you know, ugly. Okay, so now that the time lapse is done. Okay, why does my light keep falling? I'm, this is like the third time in this video that it's fallen and um, I don't know how I feel about it. So, yeah. So now that I look extra pale, it's time for foundation. So the foundation that I usually use is the Revlon. Yeah, as you can tell, it's much tanner than what I am. So I only use like one squirt, but you know, usually one squirt is when it's 
spool, but I use it so much, so it doesn't matter. But, you know, it's about one square. Yeah, so anyway, I take some, put it on my foundation brush, rose gold, ooh, fancy. Just putting this off brand, okay. But I basically just put it all over my face, on my neck, because I don't want it to be a different color. Ladies, learn it, love it, love it. Just gonna say that, and now I'm gonna blend it out. And ladies, please do not forget the neck, because that is the most embarrassing thing that you can do, is forget to blend to your neck. Oh, and also having different shaded ears, no honey. You bring it out to the ears too. Don't play games. Show the ears some love too. I mean, come on. But, you know, I just try to put it anywhere where I look quite pale. Because I am quite pale. But especially with my Tarte Concealer, which that's the thing. The Tarte Concealer, the tape shape, it's like, oh my god, I have foundation in my hair. Oh my god, okay, okay, it's not like that. But it's, it's just really, it's pigmented, I guess you could say. Like, a little goes a long way. But like, it's the wrong shade, so I use more than a little. Just, you know, like a touch more than a little. But it's okay. And just to make sure that my foundation is like set and like blended everywhere, I go back in with, oh wait, I need to do it on my eyelids because I don't want them looking pale. Okay. Yeah, there we go. So I just go back in with my other beauty blender and just blend my face because I really don't want it to be a different like shade in any place. And if you do this, then it also picks up some products so then like it's not so caked on because that's what a lot of you girls love to do and like I love to do a little bit of cake in myself but honey some of y'all just like shoved your face in a whole cake and it's where's your mother anyway the next step uh, is to put on my powder but basically it's just this old Clinique powder that I use a lot and it's like a skin tone it's not like pale like it's not like setting powder or whatever like I don't do that like I just use this and I act like it's setting powder and it just makes my face like just a little more matte and less so um hi I'm an oily face so <laughs> you feel me because like the only thing that should be oily is the fries that we eat just plain they should be crisp okay wow I really need to be quiet <laughs> But, light, okay. Just, you know, put it all over your nose. Put it on your forehead. Don't want to look too shiny. The only thing that should be shining on your face is the highlight, not the french fries. Okay, okay. So, you know, I just put it all over my face. And as you can tell, like, I'm already two different shades. But, like, I never expose my shoulders. So, this is a new sweater. As I've already said that like two times in this video. Wow, people care. Anyway, next step is to put on my bronzer. Because, like, most people, they do, like, contour bronzer, but I do bronzer bronzer. <laughs> so, I use the CoverGirl True Blend Bronzer, which is more of a darker one. So, I use that as my contour, I guess. And then, this is the Hula Light from Benefit. So... It's like not as dark as like a contour. It's more like a light sun-kissed bronze, which I'm pretty sure that's what it is. Sun-kiss me quick. Sweep this matte light bronzer all over face to instantly warm up your complex complexion. Yeah, see, um, I'm not illiterate. But now take I use this kind of brush, like the little edge, whatever. I don't even know what the fuck it's called. But I take my True Blend, dip it in my Hula, and do this. Like, honey, that is a light sun-kissed bronze. Like, it is so, like, summer, but it's fall, winter-ish. I don't really know, to be honest. Ew, my sweater's stuck. Okay. And, you know, sometimes I do 
we're getting a little bit powerful with the console bronzing thing but you know whatever but I also do put it on my nose I don't know why you girls don't do it and I blend it out to my eyebrow just like so it looks more natural it doesn't look like oh wow she has contour on her nose no honey that's my nose balm you see how it goes all the way up to my brow yeah see sis who you competing with um, so I don't compete oh. I'm the competition for others. Woo! I just play it. Okay, let me stop trying to hype myself up because it's obviously not working. But I do apply it under my lip to make my <laughs> lip <laughs> look bigger. But I also do put it down here, everywhere. Just to, you know, look tan. Look, I have a cheekbone. Yes, honey, snatched! Getting one foggy Christmas Eve. Santa. Okay, y'all, this just turned into a vlog. Santa baby, just slip a sable under the tree for me. Been an awful good girl, Santa baby. So hurry down the chimney tonight. Okay. Sorry about that. That's just my favorite Christmas song. <laughs> so next up is blush. I use two different blushes because this one is too light and this one is too dark, but they're both pretty decent blushes. So I'm gonna use them. Sorry, the song's still playing. Just as good. Why can I not open it? Okay. But this is like some brand, I don't even know what brand, but if you know that brand, then that's that brand. And it's that color. Yeah, okay, yeah. This is Space Case Cosmic Gangster. Santa baby, so hurry down the chimney tonight. Wow, I just like went a little bit heavy on my blush, but whatever. You know, if y'all don't know me, like most people should or some people know. Um, I'm like in love with blush, so if I'm using blush, I'm using blush. So, you know, plus it's Christmas Eve time, so red cheeks, red nose, red everything, just, you know, with the duplex and checks. Yes, ma'am! I feel you there, sis. So, the next thing I do is apply mascara, and I don't know what mascara I want to use, either this one, but I have a bunch of little sample ones that I could use. And then I have this basic one, I have brown mascara, I have the Falsies Push-Up Angel, and then my samples, I'll just tell you all my samples. There's just a few, but you know, mascara. This is the Clarins Paris mascara super volume okay this is the Clinique chubby lash this is the this is the sumptuous sump, sumptuous extreme black okay and then this is the bad girl bang I think I'm gonna do bad girl bang I don't know I just feel like it's my mood right now even though I'm not a bad girl Until Santa. <laughs> but you know, Santa might be real. Just, just playing, I don't know. I'm not fucking genius, but you know. At least my lashes are long after I put on mascara. I mean. One time, oh my god, story time real quick. When I was younger, and like I first started wearing mascara, one of my friends, they were like, this is like really how we like started being friends. Because I thought this was like the funniest thing. They were like, are your lashes real? They look so fake. Like, I was like, yeah, they're real. So she was like, can I pull them? I was like, sure, but not hard. I mean, they're my lashes. So she pulls them and she's like, oh my God, they're real. And like, she pulled one out, but it's okay. Just one eyelash, it'll grow back in about like 10 years. <laughs> just playing but I'm gonna finish up my mascara and then I'll 
get back to you. I'm realizing I forgot a step. What I usually do is I take my bronzer and this brush and I put it on my eyelids because it's more of a natural look, I guess, but I'm just gonna go ahead and do that. And also I'm gonna give y'all a tip while I'm at it. Most girls, they curl their lashes. I do sometimes, not all the time, but I will sometimes. Like if my lashes are like pointing down like this one is, but like I just didn't feel the need to because I'm probably just gonna take this makeup off after a few selfies and go to sleep, or at least attempt to. But always curl your lashes before you put mascara on. Because if, if you curl your lashes afterwards, then like it will honestly, like it might not now, but it will sooner or later. It'll tear out your lashes. It'll like literally pull your whole line of lashes out of your eyes because it is that bad. They will break and damage your lashes. Like it is so bad. So if you want to curl your lashes, then do it before you apply mascara because it's super bad for you if you don't. And you will have to put on falsies like one of my mom's old friends for an entire year or two. So there's a good tip you guys. So the next step is to apply highlighter, which I absolutely love because it's something shiny going on your face, which I usually prefer something shiny going on my finger, but you know, we don't have the, we don't have that option sometimes, but I'm using the, this, this highlighter in Procesco. It's like a nice little almost natural glow. I want to say almost, but it's really not. It's like kind of extreme, which I love. Because if it wasn't extreme, then what are you doing? What's the point in highlight? Which I understand why some people do a subtle highlight, but that's just, no. Nah. If I'm putting on highlight, I'm a shine baby. I'm not in a good way. But I also put on my chin just a little bit. And I put it on my cupid's bow. Because that looks good. And if I usually I put on chapstick, but if I'm feeling spicy, then I'll put on some kind of lip gloss or something. Or matte lips. Which I feel like I should go for a matte look. Hmm. Gotta figure out my outfit. Lip gloss or matte? Comment, comment below. Okay, honestly, I think I'm going to go for a... I want to say matte, yeah. Let's do a matte. I haven't done a matte lip in so long. I think I'm going to do brown too because it's just out there. Or should I do more of a somewhat neutral? Fuck it. We doing dark today, honey. So like a lot of people don't wear brown lipstick, but like one of my friends gave me this and I'm literally obsessed with it. Like it looks like shit, but it's not, so it's okay. I'm gonna do a time lapse so y'all don't have to like just sit here and listen to nothing. <laughs> so um, here I am, you know, just applying this matte lipstick you know obviously doing an awful job because i never do it but here you okay, go so now i'm officially done with my look i hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you guys come back for another one please comment below if you feel like i need to change something or do something anything give me ideas for videos on what y'all would want to see and like to see but in the meantime peace out